good. Um, I I'm really appreciative of the options they've given here. Um, but you, I've, I've I'm using a pattern. Um, they have all these different patterns that they got going on. Like you can put you can put flames on your robot. You can put stars on your robot. Um, but I went with this one because I'm a sucker for color block. Um, yeah. Um, I haven't done a whole lot with my my loadout. I did do a little bit actually. Um, but yeah, uh, as it turns out, you get to go in and you can replay your missions, and you get a ranking when you replay them. Oh my goodness! So I've gone through and I've replayed all of the missions, some of them a couple times. Um, the mining ship one we I haven't done too good on, but everything else I've done like I got a B on wall climber. Look at me. Um, I got a couple of the of the battle logs. There are still some battle logs that I don't have, and I'm still not entirely sure where those ones are coming from. I'm learning a little bit. I'm learning little bits, but uh, there's still some things I don't fully understand. Um, but all that to say is that I've replayed some missions. I got a bunch more money. I spent some of my money, so we have some more weapons available to us now. Um, and I'm still playing around with what I have a, a jive for. And we'll be swapping things out a whole bunch as we unlock stuff, of course. Uh, but we have some stuff to play around with. And I've also learned some things. Um, Bhati Vidya put out a nice long video with a bunch of basics in it. Um, and that was good. Uh, I mean, his stuff is good as always. Go If you if you want to know more about how these games and that these kinds of games work on, like a, on a more fundamental level, um, or just you're interested in the lore of these games, his 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 stuff on the Elden Ring games, um, the Prepare to Cry series, is, is fantastic. Um, highly recommend if you're into into the lore of these games at all and don't care to play them. His stuff is the way to go. Um, but he had a video where he went through a lot of the basics, and it was like 90% stuff that we figured out in our first stream, and then like 10% stuff that's like, oh, I didn't connect those dots, or I didn't know exactly how that worked before. So. There is a little bit more knowledge in my head now that I'm gonna uh, that we're gonna that we're gonna use. And uh, other than that, though, plot-wise, beyond this level, I have no clue what's going on. Uh, so we just we just climbed the wall, we beat the juggernaut, I've replayed some missions, nothing else has happened. So that being said, retrieve combat logs or investigate bows. Bows bows optional too. Okay. Infiltrate and determine why it went silent. Oh, that's interesting. Cool. Uh, I think we'll do this one first, though. Because it's... Wow, this one's way shorter. <laughs> like a bows. I know, right? Like, they had to know what known what they were doing with that. Um, Central Belia's Archibus survey based the wall. Oh, we're going back to the wall. Okay, interesting. If I'm interpreting that correctly. Got a job for you, 621. Do you? Companies has put in a request. Some of these... Gun 13 Raven. I... This request comes from our affiliate Dafung. You again. The investigation into the Vespers. Archibus is augmented human squad. Yeah, they're cool. Currently, our focus is on their fourth squad leader, V4 Rusty. Oh, I like him. Sweep the route Rusty took during Operation Wall Climber and retrieve combat logs from the wrecks he left on his way in. Interesting. Okay. The wall is now under Archibus's control, and they stationed their MT squads there for the Coral Survey. Yeah, I helped him with that. As such, he'll be targeting the brief window where their main force is deployed elsewhere. Hmm. Keep an eye on the time and retrieve as many logs as you can. Was this a timed mission? That concludes the briefing. We expect prompt results, Gun 13. Okay. So more of this, cor the corporations don't like each other, but they're both hiring me. So, so yeah. Um, one thing that I noticed while while replaying was in the briefing for this most previous mission, the wall. So like we we did a mission with uh, with the red guns, right? And there was the, the the this guy was on the radio, and we had two other loudmouth friends with us. Um, they were the red guns, uh, and then. And then we did the wall mission with Archibus, who are their their rivals. Um, in the briefing for the wall mission, we see the wreck of one of the people that we just did one of those missions with. Um, 
Oh, the the the, the one loudmouth. They were all they were all loudmouths. But the the one guy, um, Volta was that his name? Something like that. Um, that that was they. So Balaam attempted to attack the wall and then failed, and then we went with Archibus and succeeded. So now Balaam is telling us to go in and follow along uh, their like our friend's footsteps so that they can get some intel on on what they were doing so interesting we're not making any friends here are we 621 you should be used to rubicon by now i like rusty i hope we can stay Try rusty's friend take a break from shooting up the place we haven't really made any friends yet have we walters are friend Presumably, friend. Also, I have a new shirt. Check out my new shirt. Main system. Activating combat mode. <laughs> okay. Commence mission. So a laser cannon. Search the nearby Four minutes for combat logs recording where? engagements with V4 Rusty. Tell me where? No. I'm not seeing. You're not giving me any directions, are you? We don't know which way Rusty went. Uh, you didn't go in, right? So I'm assuming I'm just coming down here. Hello. We've got company. Sure do. Me. On the Button prompts reset? I'll have to fix that. System log, one site at engagement. System log extracted from wreck allows one to examine, blah blah blah. Log indicates that the FCS was operating at maximum capacity and yet was still unable to track the enemy because Rusty is fast. It was completely overwhelmed by Rusty's speed and was clearly a one-sided engagement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rusty's fast. Um, let's fix that. Yes, thank you. Oh, and the other thing that I learned that I need to remember the thing that Fatih said was increasing camera speed to max. That seems like a good idea to me. This gives us yeah. more insight about yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, my cannon. Now I have to... Recalibrate my muscles for for fast camera movements. That's fine. There's one. Analyzing log. Four minutes. Jeez. Okay. Uh, appears to be the auto transcription of a voice log recorded by an off-duty pilot. The well we found in Galia is going to dry up sooner than later. We. We just can't harvest as much coral as we used to, and what little we do get, the corpse. It's short for corporations, so it's actually corpse and not core. Uh, this time, uh, squeeze out of us. They know we need it to raise mealworms. How many chil How many more children must we watch? Must we watch starve? That's the first we've heard of a mealworm. That's interesting. Some more evidence on what the coral situation looks like. Yeah. Okay, I'm liking the laser cannon so far. That's probably the, the most recent thing I've added. Um, where else? Surely there's more than two. Uh, but in my mind, it makes sense to have a loadout that has, like, at least one of each damage type, right? Uh, so my primary uh, rifle thing is, is kinetic, obviously. It's further out this way, I guess. Um, but then we have some some vertical launch missiles, and we have a laser cannon and a laser sword. Open fire. Hi. Speaking of sword, there you go. Um, I want to get over here. Cool. I love this rifle so far. 
one over there, I guess. Uh, video record steel haze. That's Rusty's ship. Or AC, I should say. Uh, allows one to discern the assembly of Rusty's AC. The steel haze appears to be assembled from Schneider high mobility frame. Yep, that was obvious. I mean, the Schneider stuff has a pretty uh, distinctive look, I'd say. Uh, swift action, swift agile action. Notably, Rusty appears to favor kinetic weaponry that Vespers, Vesper members would not normally use. Interesting. That's interesting because I was seeing him do a whole bunch of energy stuff in that boss fight. But you know. I'll just standing around. Hi. Analyzing. So cool. Really, really excited to see speedruns of this. Uh, comms, comms record extracted from a wreck. Appears to be a conversation between allies before the start of a mission. We can't beat the top vespers. We're as good as dead. At least, at least Z is off duty. She's the Liberation Front's little sister. Interesting. She doesn't deserve to be out there on the battlefield. She can, she can still love and be loved, have a family. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to keep an eye out for that thing again. And what's this? This is another juggernaut. Just the one we saw. Hi. Hi. This isn't where we fought it. Communication attempt. Contains leftover data from an attempt to communicate with Rusty during combat. How could you? I I know who you are. I've seen Uncle's files. At least tell me why. Interesting. Interesting. I, I need to remember to reload on purpose, too. Thank you! There you go, okay. Come over here. Don't have time for this. Two repair kits remaining. Uh, is there more? Surely there's more. I don't see any more flaming wreckage. The edge of the zone. I have to try this again and Surely there's more. Archibus's main force will be here any minute now. If I don't have to fight them, we're just sneaking in. Satisfy the request. Down there. Oh, there, there. Okay, there we go. Return to base. I'm gonna do it again real quick. It's all. Oh, from the up. Stuff from up fell down. Uh, okay. Cool. Don't mind me, Archibus. Just sniffing your ricks. Two new messages. Yeah. How could you? Gun 13 Raven! You bagged us some decent intel on V4. I'll report this to Commander Michigan. Additionally, I'll introduce myself. Gun 6 Red. But you can call me Sir! Yeah. Privileged to be among Balaam's <laughs> best, even if I am stuck whipping you independence into shape. Believe you me, I'm gonna put you to work. Can you do it with a little less yelling? Ten percent less yelling would be great. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Your records have been updated. Jerk. Granting authorization to perform ACOS upgrades. Oh, excellent. Additional. All Mind hereby invites you to the Arena Combat Excellent. Aptitude Evaluation Program. But his video mentioned the these Arena is a virtual combat simulator designed to well, support the development of registered mercenaries. It also serves as a benchmark to appraise and rank the mercenaries active on Rubicon. I'm the best. We look forward to your participation. Cool. The OS tuning I'm given to understand are like Permanent upgrades. Uh, OST chips in your possession to upgrade AC's OS from the OS tuning. Um, and then we get the OS chips from the arena. So, like, some of these things are like just 
good things, like Quick Turn, like that's probably really good. Um, the Boost Kick is something that he called out as being very good in general. Terminal Armor. What if you want to drill break your AC? That's a good question. That's in universe that'd probably be a real thing. Install custom firmware. Yeah, like this is it's probably like a John Deere situation where you buy it from a corporation and they lock the whole things down, and you have to go to them for all your update, up, all your uh, all your software updates. I bet you that, like in universe, that wouldn't surprise me. We probably don't have to deal with that. Um, I'm gonna go. Oh, it all moved. Okay. I'm gonna go straight back. I want to do that again. It's it's so fast. And we can do it so much faster. Be used to by now. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I wonder if you could just like install Linux or something. Okay. So we come down here. Someone down there. Early. Um, or is it up here? Ha. You missed. There was one over here, right? I'm... Well, just the two over here. Oh well, uh, let's run over here. Unidentified AC. Open fire! Kill the Oops! Uh, I should dodge those. <laughs> There it is. That makes three logs. Okay. Do it making better time already. This is useful. We've got visuals on V4's AC assembly. Hello. Oh, I see. They get like dropped in by quadcopters. That's really cool. Okay. Two repair kits remain. We've already caught up to where we were <laughs> last attempt. We have half our time left. Go down here. There's a jumpy thing here, even. Cool. Keep an eye on the clock. Either avoid combat or make it quick. Quick sounds good. Analyzing. System log the deserter. System log extracted from a wreck. La 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 la. No data regarding offensive or evasive maneuvers. It appears the pilot of this craft immediately pulled the emergency eject lever at the start of the operation. Wow. Nothing we can sell here. Can go this way? You! AC pilot! Oh. You're no comrade of ours, are you? Sure not. Wait. Oh, this is Z. You, you killed them all! Uh, yeah. This is where our combat log comes from. Just hold this up if you engage her. Before everything else. Very got all of them, right? Corporate dog. Go. Leave Back. Now, where'd you go? 
No. Oh, I'm not going to be able to beat you in 30 seconds. There we go. Come on. Oh, is this a log right here? Oh. So close. No, come on. Come back here. Jeez. Okay. Well, that can be done later. Um, rank C. Okay. I'm satisfied. Now we know. Obtained 10 data logs. Oh, nice. Uh, but also, there's the arena. Fight virtual battles against copies of ACs created using All Minds Mercenary slash craft data from the arena menu. So we're fighting other players. Loadouts, but controlled by the thing. So this is like, um, this is like the Great Jar. Wind Arena battles to obtain OST chips, opponent AC data, opponent emblems. Use OST chips to perform your... Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, hey, it's red. Interesting. Oh, and you, we've, we've actually fought this person. Uh, Invincible Rummy. I don't think I recognize that one, though. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Welcome to the Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. That's a cool gun. What is this weapon? I don't think we haven't seen this weapon. AC. Mad Stomp. Call mm -hmm. sign Invincible Rummy. <laughs> it's a little top of me. Activating combat mode. He's gonna come over here. Oh! Oh, it's like a... Oh! Oh my god. Okay. Uh, he has a chain sword. Got it. Oh, come back here. There we go. <laughs> Do that too. Ah! Ha ha ha! Do I get the chain sword? Do I get the chain sword? Kinetic melee weapon? That's not something we have access to right now. I think I'm gonna stay with my my laser sword, but. I would like access to a chain sword, to OST chips, data acquired, emblem acquired. Not the part though. Damn. Someday. We'll do, we'll do some more. Those are quick. Those are fun. I do like these. Like it's really cool to be super powerful on the battlefield and just like two shot all the things around, but doing like 1v1s like this is also really fun. Where you have to get a little more into it. Arena combat aptitude evaluation. That's a different program. arena even. Number 28, rank F. That's a big gun. Subject AC, burn pickaxe. Yeah. Call sign, index Dunham. Commencing evaluation. Main system. Oh, we fought this guy in a, in a mission. Where are you at? <laughs> I'm liking the laser cannon! Sweet! Oh my god! I've had a little bit of practice since uh, since the last stream. 
And it's Including it's paying off, I think. Well done. Starting to learn the bits. Starting to learn what's going on here. There's still some things that I'm needing to get into my brain. Um, 34 seconds, nice. Four chips. Cool. Cool. Um, actually looking at my my little reticle with all the the uh, like you know my overheat and my ammo stuff. That's still something I'm needing to do on purpose. Um I'm getting better at like keeping the shoulder stuff on cooldown. Um, knowing when things are coming at me, a little bit better, still arena a little tough. Aptitude evaluation program. I wonder Number how many arenas they're gonna have. F. This is cool. Final I assumed it was all just gonna be the VR thing. This guy Subject looks like me very closely. Urban. Call sign, gun six, red. Handgun and a Commencing grenade. Evaluation. And some missiles. I also do like that you can tell what a person's loadout is just by looking at it. Like, I can't see the internal systems, obviously, but I know what weapons I'm up against here. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Woohoohoo! Be up in the air. Can't get away from me. Yeah. AP at fifty percent. Oh, that that was that was good. Come here. Yeah, 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 yeah! That feels good. That feels so good. That feels so good! This concludes I'm gonna really enjoy... Well done. I'm really curious to see what playing actual humans is like. Because if it's anything like that, then I'm gonna enjoy it. Six chips. Very cool. <laughs> well, that emblem, that emblem's very good. <laughs> Uh, all right, so that was all of the that was all of our arenas in right now. Or do we just un immediately unlock more? Congratulations, you have surpassed rank nice. S. We are glad to oversee your development as a mercenary. All mind exists for all mercenaries. Why isn't shouldn't it be all merc? Uh, okay, so now do we have enough? So we have six chips now, and boost kit cost one, so that seems like the thing. So these are all just on or off, right? I don't have to actually equip these. Install. Yeah. So during boost assault, click the stick to kick. I'm going to do that. Uh, unlocks the weapon bay feature for shoulders, allowing shoulder weapons to be replaced with additional hand weapons. Interesting. That's actually pretty cool. Because I was thinking it'd be cool to have a shoulder-mounted, like, grenade launcher, which we don't have access to right now. With this, you could use an actual just hand grenade launcher and put it on your shoulder. Well, that's kind of cool. Unlocks the ability to sort you when AC is overburdened. Okay. Unlocks the ability to perform manual aiming, so probably not for me. Unlocks quick turn. I mean, for one, that seems really good. Um, assault armor. And oh, there's like tiers of some of these. Interesting. Um, this one, Vatividia mentioned being very good as well. Um, was it this one? Assault armor creates a pulse explosion centered on the AC, canceling out incoming enemy fire and creating a damaging area of effect shockwave. Maybe that's not the one I'm thinking. No further explanation. Is it just terminal armor? That's the thing. Um, so then what's... What does this do? Activate assault armor. Hmm... 
Pulse protection allows it to be installed. Pulse protection creates a pulse barrier in a fixed position, providing cover from enemy fire until the barrier... So it's like a little shield. Interesting. And then terminal armor... Um, the way he explained it was... Now we don't have enough for it. Um, a hit will just... Like, you'll, you'll have one hit point left after a big hit. Uh, if something would bring you to zero, you have one left. And then and then you have one health, obviously, but it gives you a chance to heal. Uh, but now we can't afford that one. Um, these are... Okay, so fire control tuning, explosive weapons, fuse control tuning, energy weapons, output control, melee weapons, drive control, direct hit modifier damage. Okay, so direct hits are when you've broken someone's... Uh, someone's posture, quote-unquote. Access speed, object access speed, and optimized hacking. Interesting. ACS dynamic deflection control. Holy cow. Improves the precision of ACS-based bracing posture control, reducing damage received from enemy attacks. I mean, that's just... That's just good. That's just straight-up good. Repair kit optimization. Oh, and it increases the effectiveness of repair kits. Oh my god. Okay, so let's... I'm gonna spend two on this, because that's just... 3% damage mitigation. Yes, please. Um, and then... I haven't really committed to a... Type. Like, I want all four of these uh, tunings, eventually. So I could either... I could save for terminal armor. It, canceling out incoming enemy fire, creating a damaging area of effect shockwave. That seems pretty nice. I might... I might save my pennies, though. I think, we're, I think I'm gonna save them for now. And they have categories. Okay, cool. Ah! Uh, cool! Now we're better! Let's go do this other mission. Oh. Here's the briefing. Hey, guys. The loss of the wall dealt us a heavy blow. Mm -hmm. Yet, we believe you are more than a corporate pawn. Perhaps we can even work together. I like their emblem. I want you to investigate Baus Arsenal Number 2, a major MT factory in the Bellius region. The Baus Corporation sells to anyone, but they've been essential to maintaining our firepower. Hmm, of course. Their, their second arsenal has gone silent overnight. Interesting. If it were only a comms failure, a simple check-in would do. But, well, after the Strider, more cautious voices Sorry. have gained influence. Sorry. This isn't our finest moment, but would appreciate your help. Interesting. So, boss. Boss is. Bo I mean, boss just sells to everyone, right? I mean, of course. Bilious advanced applied weapons. Something, something. Okay. I'm mostly curious if they are part of one of these other corporations or if they're Some they're separate from. Balaam and Arceus. Expect the unexpected. Yeah. I wasn't expected to get paid by the rebels, so we're already there. It's interesting that they're just like, it sucks that you blew up all of our stuff, but um, can we have help too? Activating combat mode. Commence mission. Investigate Baus Arsenal number two. I've been checking the perimeter, and I'm picking up nothing. What happened here? It's too quiet. It's a little quiet. You are correct. These streets, they're just cars. <laughs> Oops. 
Oops. Nope. I meant to. Watch out, six two one. Oop. Hi. There are definitely things here. Six two one. Watch its shots and see where they're coming from. Who's over here? Oh. MDD. Stick to it like that. Don't lose it if it gets too far. Oh, it's not dead yet. Uh, did it disappear on me? I think it has a cloaking system. And also it's going to see me coming. Yeah, okay. Okay, you just have to get close. Interesting. Huh. The mech behind what happened here. Six to one. Continue the investigation. So they're just like auto cloaked when you are outside of some sort of radius. That's terrifying. There's gonna be a whole bunch of them, aren't there? Just gonna zap me from one of these tall places, I can tell. Which means I don't want to be totally in the bottom. Insights. Yeah, oh, there you are. Another one of those stealth mechs. Don't let it outpace you, 621. Oh, come on. No. Okay. I think there's more than one this time. Oh, good. I didn't actually... I have the kick thing now. I need to actually, you know, remember how to use that. Scan. Oh yeah, I have a scan, too. There are so many buttons. Um... How do I... There we go. There we go. I think I got it. Building here. Just generic big stuff. Okay. Oh. According to the blueprint, there's a massive water reservoir deep inside the arsenal. If there's anything waiting for us, that's where it'll be. It's a water reservoir. Okay. Wait, six two one behind you. Oops. Hi. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Got it. There's oh, there's so many now. Ooh, that was slick. Uh, did I get it? I think I got it. And there was another one over here. Oh, that was the wrong button. Whoa. Too many buttons. Okay. <laughs> Where? Come on. There you are. One I get you? <laughs> okay. Oh, there you are. Okay. Let's still 
talking to me. Unknown crap. All clear. Keep going, 621. Okay. Start finding out about stuff, aren't we? No doubt about it. This water. Is it bad to be in? No. Fight like a a bows, a boss bows. So these aren't bows. I'll try. Oh, they got a lot of health. There we go. Oh boy. You were over here. I saw you. Nope. Okay. Out of repair kits. Good. Oh my god. Here, there you are. I see you. Whoop, oh, well on this side now. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, they are so fast. These are freaking space pirates. more. Oh. God. Dodging too early. There we go. Okay, one left. Okay. Over here somewhere. Oops, that was the kick. Okay. Mission done, please. <laughs> or a repair kit. This wasn't a simple check in after all. Okay. Invisible dorks. Oh my god. Good. That's what we needed. Now, okay, they're gonna force me to learn, to remember to use the scan. Okay, Liberation Front, what do you think of that? Long time no see, Walter. Cinder. Looking good for a change. I see you've got a new augmented human. What happened to 617 and the rest? The rest? Their jobs. They did what it took to get us here. Huh. So how's the newcomer doing? Excellent. Thank Not you for exactly. asking. Oh, come on. <laughs> Gen 4 augmentation can be unstable. We need to choose our battles. How's things on your end? I found the data our friends left behind. There's something promising in the watch point. Mm -hmm.
Are you a friend? Are you another frenemy? It's the whole planet of frenemies, isn't it? One new message. Yes, yes. I see your back, 621. About the coral well that was found at Baus Arsenal number two. That was just a drip coming from an underground vein, and it won't last long. It's not the coral we're searching for. One more thing. I've sent you your next job. This one isn't from the Corps or the Liberation Front. You'll see when you check the briefing. This one's a personal request. Need milk, eggs, bread. Attack the watch point. Watch point Delta. Eliminate the SG squad in the watch point and destroy the device in the control center at the heart of the complex. Concludes chapter. Oh dear, and 380,000. So this will be a thing, won't it? We don't know what the watch point is. This is a rather personal request from a friend of mine. From Cinder? It concerns a certain facility, a watch point. Once, it regulated the underground flow of coral. Hmm. Now it serves to monitor the dormant veins. I want you to attack it. Your objective will be to destroy the sensor valve at its core. The watch point is kept secure by SG, the planetside PCA force, hmm. which means it's too hot for the corporations to be seen there. In other words, we're flying strictly solo on this one. Interesting. So how does... There's all these corporations, but there's also this planet security force? Not very clear. You'll be going in under cover of darkness. Like who actually owns this planet these days? I guess that's kind of part of the contention, right? But I'm also curious about the timeline of, of people's presence and stuff. Because, like, the Liberation Front is talking like they've been here this whole time, but it sounds like go time, six, two, a bunch of the corporations, maybe, like, you know, well-funded forces... Don't worry. Not even the PCA would anticipate a solo independent mercenary. If there was, you know, Fires of Ibis Apocalypse kind of a scenario, so a whole bunch of people either died or left, but then there were still people who stayed and have been here this whole time. Main system, activating combat mode. Leave no evidence. If anyone sees you, handle it. You mean like this one? Code one five. Intruder sighted. Just one AC. Who are they with? We can look into that later. Engaging. Oh, ow. Yeah, those things hurt. Oh boy, there's a lot of those. I can't get through the HQ. Oops. 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 I'm working on it. Ow. <laughs> Just in the face. Yeah, that was. I deserved that one. One repair kit remaining. <laughs> Just okay. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I thought this was water. It's all ice. This whole planet's frozen. This planet froze after a bunch of things were built too. I've noticed that. So we're at that like dam complex. Someone back here. There you are. Like they built it. They built all these dams and then things froze. Confirmed. Enemy squad destroyed. Okay. Move on to the next area. That only took all my healing. Where did that AC come from? What happened to the patrol squad? Code 1-8, all units deploy for combat. You're exposed to snipers from all quarters. Hi. 
Keep moving or they'll shoot you down. <laughs> Understood. Ooh, it still got me. No repair kits remaining. Oh, let's come up here. Now. Now. Jeez. Just stuff everywhere, isn't there? And you're gonna. Nope, okay, can't stand. Can't target you from this far. Oh, but I can still hit you. <laughs> okay, good to know. Oh boy, okay, now that we're dead. Uh, was that. It's all the ones I knew about. Who's left? Oh, there. Updating your marker data. Proceed in the direction indicated. Uh, this way. I have 62 health. That is far too many digits for a health bar to have. <laughs> you see that? That's Point the watch perfect. control center. The target's inside. Make your way in. I was about to run out of stamina, but then I got a cutscene. You're incorrigible, Handler Walter. How many of your dogs must I kill before you learn? Sula. Everyone wants to talk, call me a dog. Pitiful dog. dog. Was it worth it, Walter? Their blood is on your hands. <laughs> oh well, pretty sure we get our um, our healing back at a checkpoint. So, you know, this is fine. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. That's the watch points control center. The target's inside. Make your way in. This is a cool bridge. Is that Sula? Pitiful dog. I feel sorry for you. I really do. You may have survived a little longer. If only you had a different master. Sula, he's an independent mercenary who survived first gen augmentation. Don't think twice, 621. Kill him before he kills you. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. We're 619 and 620. Dead? Which ones did I kill, I wonder? Don't let him bait you. Focus. Two repair kits remaining. Oh boy, okay. One repair kits remaining. Here we go. What a Gen 4 slot. I hear you make fine hounds with the right training. Oh, come on. Shame you'll have to die here. What is all that? Excuse me. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Got him. Not by much, but I got him. Confirmed. Enemy AC destroyed. 
Forget about him, 621. You did good today. Back to work. Penetrate the control center and destroy the target. So we are continuing the theme of everyone telling us we are doing the wrong thing and we just kill them and move on. As is tradition. Supply! Oh, now we're gonna get a boss fight, aren't we? Hello, Rocket Fridge! Nice to see you again. Infiltrate control center and destroy target device. Oh my goodness. This can be heavily guarded. Just... Blam! Oh, it's got like multiple health bars. Interesting. Oh, it's exploding now. Done. Okay. Uh, about that. Wait, no. Oh no. Six to one. The coral is pissed. Will you upset the planet? <laughs> human fourth generation have we made contact define contact also who are I'm you a oh. Rubiconian. please you must wake up before your consciousness is forever scattered in the coral flow mm. It's a hive mind. Got it. Got it. Hmm, is this a dead space scenario? All become one? Confirmed. See, I'm fine. Establishing comms link with him. Raven, I've identified an approaching enemy. Is air my handler now? That's interesting. Oh. Uh. contact to support you. Hi, is that you, or am I fighting that one? I'm fighting that one. Uh, Bal Baltias. Oh my God. Uh. Okay. Autonomous PC, okay. Oh my, oh my god! He's got a shield, okay. But I don't want to use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, it's got big guns. <laughs> we have a shield again, okay. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, okay. He's coming at me? No, over that way. Okay, that's fine. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Okay. That's a lot of missiles. So, 
So she's cut us off from Walter. Also, clearly the the coral explosion, the the fires or whatever, didn't do any damage to our craft. They just nearly killed us while we were inside of it. It's an autonomous PCA craft, Bounteous. Whoa! Whoops. Okay, there we go. Whoops. Tried to block just there, but I hit it instead, so I guess that's okay. <laughs> yeah. God. You just have one of everything, don't you? And a million of some other things. Okay. It didn't work. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> okay. Okay. The other thing that I'm learning as as this goes is it's not like it's not like all of my systems are like, you know, totally independent and and fire at all times. Um, I do kind of have to find things and, and do one thing at a time. So there's, there's, there's circumstances where I'm not able to do much. There we go. Okay. Oh, he just does a, a pulsy thing. Yeah. Whoa. Get the frick back here. Wow, I've done no damage to you this time. Jeez. Jeez. We found the bullet hell. I am here. Tactical reloading. Yeah, okay. When an enemy is close to being staggered, make sure your weapons aren't about to reload or overheat. Fair enough. You need to be ready to exercise maximum firepower. Yeah, manual reloading is another thing I need to remember to do. Uh, but like our one gun that needs to be reloaded is like my least powerful thing. Okay, well. Please, you have to focus on one of us. One, repair it remaining. 
be doing actual assault boosts. Oh, you can just bounce me off! But probably only when you have a shield. Okay. Come on, there we go. Got you. Oh my god. Oh god. There we go. Okay. Get clear, yes, okay. So at 50 ish, it's gonna do a big blasty thing. Oh, now it has flamethrowers! Now it has flamethrowers! <laughs> okay. Neat! Oh god! I'm still liking my loadout for this so far. We'll see if we have to make adjustments. Main system, reactivating That wasn't the right opener. I'll just circle back around. So close. <laughs> Move. Move. Okay. A lot of missiles. I can dodge like five missiles. But what about fifty missiles? Main system. Deactivating combat mode. That wasn't too bad. Oh! See, even if I make it through all of them... What the frick over here? My god. Nope, not that button. One repair kit remaining. Get back here. There we go. Coming at me? Zuka comes out of nowhere sometimes. Oh, got him. We got him. So now you're gonna get one of those. Left shoulder ammunition at 50%. Oh. oh, that was like a, it's like a melee sword. Oh my god. Oh my god. I haven't even seen that full attack yet, have I? <laughs> He's got a whole flame chain. 
That's cool. I imagine I want to be inside that radius, or do you just get the frick out? I mean, he's so dangerous at that at extreme range. He's got all those missiles, so I don't want to be too far away. Reactivating combat mode. I've looked into the enemy craft. That was the wrong button. It's an autonomous PCA craft, Boteus. You'll have to break its pulse armor to inflict meaningful damage. Oh my god, and he just still has so many missiles in the air. <laughs> okay. Neat. Very, very neat. Main system, reactivating combat mode. I've looked into the enemy crowd. Autonomous PCA craft, Mantis. You'll have to break its pulse armor to inflict meaningful damage. That was good. Okay, so now you're gonna go nuts, right? Whoa! Yep, 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 yep. Come on, please move. One, repair kit Okay, is that it? Now what? Now you're gonna come at me? Ow. That here. The enemy can't take much more. Yeah, neither can I. Oh my God, that's too many. That's too many. Okay. If I can just keep breaking them back to back like that, though. He takes damage pretty good if we can, uh, we can, if we can keep staggering. Main system, reactivating combat mode. I've looked into the enemy craft. It's an autonomous PCA craft. Too far. You'll have to break its pulse arm to inflict meaningful damage. There's one. There. Nope, not quite. Not quite. Come on. Get back here. Oh, need to get your shield back. Ugh. Capitalizing on the shield break to get another another ACS stun is a uh, is important. Critical even. At least losing's fast. <laughs> and there's no runbacks. 
We don't have to deal with getting back to the boss, because this ain't that kind of game. Another one in here. Oh, close, 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 close. And yet. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I have a shield that I could equip, but I don't want to. I've looked into the enemy craft. It's an autonomous PCA craft. Bounteous. You'll have to break your pulse armor to inflict meaningful damage. Pulse armor now. Now's your chance, Raven. You get to just float up in the air when you're broken like that? That's cool. There we go. That was good. Okay, that was good, but now I need to dodge still. Go and I still need to dodge. Yep. The waves are Oh, come on. Oh, really? I just. <laughs> oh. Now I'm screwed. Now I'm screwed. Wow. Wow. This is autonomous, you say? I'd hate to see a person wielding one. If an autonomous craft can do this, well, then what am I here for? Why do I exist? I've looked into the enemy craft. It's an autonomous PCA craft, Bounteous. You'll have to break its pulse armor to inflict meaningful damage. Get off me! Dodge into it, that was good. Now, yeah, now we need to get out. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if getting up will even help that much. It, it, I mean, it has some ups. Do players even get access to one of those ring things? I don't think that that's something we get, is it? Main system, reactivating combat mode. 
it like I haven't been evading this whole time. Dodge through things, of course. I'm sorry. He does like the big ones. I mean, it seems like if you're far enough away that they all kind of coalesce into a stream, then you can kind of dodge the clump all at once. But like, that's messy and unreliable. wasn't a bad beginning. So now I back off. There we go. I'm get another break in here. Oh, not quite. So it okay. Learning, learning. Whoa, whoa, escaping. I want to see some of these attacks. down here now? I can do that. Oh, right in my face. Now it's gonna break him again. Oh, that was close. That was close. That was close. Closer. <laughs> okay. 
Increasing the amount of health that our repair kits do is probably going to be a priority. Break each other at the same time, that's cool. Go. Just right in the face. That's cool. Oh, I did. There's that. Yeah, okay. So it will... When I hit that... Uh, oh my god. Whatever, 50%. I'm sorry, Raven. Whenever you hit that, that point, like a 50% or whatever, it's going to automatically do the burst and regain its shields no matter where you were in its ACS break. It's, uh, whatever breaks, right? If I can't like squeeze in another break and, and shut down the transition. I was covering some ground there. Nope, 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 not quite, not quite. Okay. Now I need to get back. Yeah, okay. Yep. And now it's gonna do all of its lamey junk. Oh my god. Get back. Get back. Get back. All the way back. I'm sorry. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, you went live very early? Yeah. I couldn't just sit here and not play video games. Uh, but now I'm doing this. Now I'm fighting a boss. Also, yeah, you can see how screwed up that, uh, that emote is, right? There we go. That was good. I need to hit it again real quick. There we go. Now it's going to be at 50. Yeah, okay, cool. That was good. So now we need to just let him do all this junk. Run out of... Oh, nope, you're not done. You're not done. I can get behind you. Nope. He's coming. 
Here we go. We got you. I just want to break you, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That was a waste. Come here. Oh, now you got your shield back. Oh, I could have done that better. Nope, now you got fire. Okay, that's fine. Come here. Come here. Nope, nope, not that, not that, not that, not that. No, and you got shields again. Oh my god. No! Oh! Oh, that was close. That's a lot of fire. Coming in at 9.30, I thought you'd be 30 minutes in, but you've been playing since 8 UK time. Yeah. Uh, you have a big gun. You've been upgrading to a Tau broadside. That's fair. A little bit. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, I have a big laser cannon. I have some... Ooh, and I'm liking the laser cannon, especially in this fight. Didn't go so well. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Now I need to get it again. There we go. I'll get it again. Nope. The last time I was able to get it to halfway with it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was the wrong button, but that works, I guess. Need another one. So now it's gonna go into second phase. There, there, there it is. There it is. Happy you're enjoying it. I am very much enjoying this. Uh, as brutal as this is, but that's like that's what I'm here for. So close. Okay. Go. Ooh, nice. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. If I could do that without healing, that'd be ideal, but... Don't do it! 
There we go. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. That was... that was something. What are we gonna do now? Back here. Come here. There we go. No. I don't want it to get its shield back. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go! Oh my god! Oh, I don't even want to know how close that was. What am I even at anymore? Oh. oh I even had a repair kit left. Oh, what am I worried about? Oh, boy. That was a lot of missiles, wasn't it? That was good. I like that. Raven. You need rest. I did almost die. But first a warning. Oh yeah, we had our first encounter with the uh, the coral. It almost killed us. And now this other person's talking to us. Surge you were swept up in? That was just a glimpse. Yeah. I mean, it did destroy the entire planet. Cool. Look at that sky. The premonition of the storm of flame that will burn Rubicon. Again? More thoroughly this time? Because that's already happened, right? That was my impression. Cleared mission, attack the watch point. Yay! We've we've reached a rank. Excellent. Oh, and we got parts. Got some arms. A friend of mine sent me this observational data. I'm not gonna comment on all that, Walter. Getting locked out. Look, six two one. A localized coral explosion caused by the surge has a certain directionality. It's headed straight for the central ice field. Across the Alien Ocean. Like a flock of birds or a school of fish, Coral loves company. Mm. Which means somewhere in the ice field, there's a huge mass of coral lying dormant. Oh, yeah, there's that's a little bit, I'd say. You said you could hear a strange voice in your head. That's a common side effect of old gen augmentation. Uh, yeah, sure. What's happening story-wise? Still murky a little bit. In that coral surge. Don't let it bother you. Raven. Yeah. The coral explosion completely vaporized northwestern Malleus's Bay Area. Oh. Yeah, uh, it's that's gone now. It. Compared to the fires of Ibis. That explosion was hardly a spark. Yeah, okay. Raven, I have a favor to ask. Let me remain in contact with you until we reach the Coral Convergence. Convergence, that's a good word. Nothing, uh, nothing menacing about that. Taking us. They're taking us. How this struggle mm. over the Coral ends. Hmm. I must, as a Rubiconian. Hmm. So Walter sent us on a mission, and it wasn't a mission from any specific person, it was like Walter said go do this, and we attacked uh, that last facility, uh, was called a watch point. C4621, entering standard mode. Two new messages. Okay. There was a coral explosion, we almost died, we started hiring Ares voice, and then we had to do a boss fight. I've got some business to attend to. I need to hog some intel to the corpse and secure a backer for our trip to the ice field. One job for you while I'm out. Rest up. And that's an order. Okay, but what are we really gonna do? Raven. Yeah. 
I see your handler is away on business for now. About that trip to the ice field, we've received a job from Balaam already. Let's take a look, shall we? We as in the two of us? Like I don't we don't know who Airy is. Or Air is how she's going to say. RB23. Call sign Raven. Your records have been updated. E rank virtual encounters are now available Sweet. in the arena. Wait, we've unlocked an arena. We invite you to hone your like a, against uh, like 1v1 versus um computer controlled bots. New data to the arena. New parts available for purchase. Very good. I'm curious about the parts. Um, does it. Oh, nice. Okay. Had, we had the bazooka and grenade launcher, the napalm bomb launcher. Oh my gosh, we get bombs. Napalm bomb launcher. Say that three times fast. Ultra hot and incendiary round. Scorch the area. Yeah, cool. Oh, I also learned that uh, each weapon has like a little video that demonstrates. That's pretty dang cool. Uh, laser shotgun. Oh my goodness. My goodness, yes. Uh, yes, yes, please. Oh my gosh, plasma rifle. We've seen those. Missile launcher. A handheld missile launcher. That's interesting. Huh. Okay. Uh, then anything else here? We have a better burst rifle. Or a different one, at least. We've seen that one. A Gatling gun. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Shotgun. Handgun. Bazooka. And then these. Laser shotgun. Okay. Oh, what's all these? Split missile launcher. Eight-way split missiles. Missile split before contact and surrounding target with homing sub-missiles. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. I like that. It goes direct, but then... S yeah, okay. So right now our missiles go up and then track, which has been good for some things, but not all things. This is 10 cells. Track and explode on a hit, contributing greatly to ACS strain. Capable of multi-lock, okay. Oh my god. Neat. Uh, grenade cannon. Oh, that we, there we go. So uh, that's a shoulder-mounted grenade cannon. Pew pew. I like that. I might just go ahead and buy. Uh, can I buy it on this this one? Yeah, let's buy it here. I'm just gonna do. We have money to to spare. Um, this is a different buckler. More shields. More different shields. Interesting. Cool. Um, these are all... Oh, there's more here than there were last time. Honestly, modders will do a Tau skin for this so soon. Yeah. So many of these look identical to the option choices on a battle suit. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I was chatting with some other people. That's a really cool helmet. Like, surely they've taken inspiration from every giant robot that has ever existed in any media previously, right? Um, like, I'm sure that they know about all the Tau bots and, and their aesthetics. Um, so what are these? Okay, lightweight head, producing roots and producing and forging steel, exhibits craftsman-like flair, uh, light, well, reliable defense. Okay, that's fair. I'm not going to go through the parts too intensely right now. Lightweight core. Yeah, okay. So we, we unlock this set. Yeah, the, the Fermeza set. Okay. And then some, some stuff, some stuff, some stuff, some stuff. Okay. Well... Um, I am going to put on... I want to try this out. 
Having two things on the shoulders that go like straight forward is, I think, a, a good something that I want at least. Um, and that puts us real close to our our weight load and our en load. That works, I guess. And there's arena, and there's there's four more arenas. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oops, that was wrong button. Uh, Games Workshop were kind of lazy with some of those anyway, so they are fairly normal looking, but watching you play, this does make me want to buy one and paint it up. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I mean, there's only so much detail you can get on the little models, right? They have, this is a whole Arena combat aptitude high dev video game that can put all the build and whistle on. Entering rank e. Who's this person's built kind of similar to us? AC. Bitter promise. Bitter promise. Call sign, no Zark. That's how you pronounce that? Okay. Commencing I like that paint job. Main system, activating combat mode. Well, just go ahead and, you know. <laughs> oh, 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 that was cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oop, you can do that too, can't you? So timing, timing on them, because it's it's not tracking, so it's going to be a little more difficult than the other stuff, but that's fair. I wonder if it's smart to have like one thing that tracks and one thing that doesn't. We're trying things out. Let's look at them. Target destroyed. I'm going to make some Lego while I watch. That's nice. evaluation. Well done. Yeah, these arenas are cool. It's just it's just a quick one v one. My understanding is that um, like obviously not all of these are going to be uh, user created. Some of these are like NPCs that we've already seen. Sweet. Uh, but it made some some implication that like you'd be able to fight against user submitted builds, but they are controlled by computer which I think is a cool cool concept and something that showed up in uh, in Elden Ring as well it's a very cool feature I agree arena combat and all these different arenas I've already like, I don't think 25. I've seen the same arena like environment twice yet and at least five or six subject AC infection, infection. call sign v6 mater link V6. We haven't even met V6. Commencing evaluation. Main system. Activating combat mode. And oh, this is just where we were. The mission. Uh or no, not just where we were, but God. We were here recently. You are fast. Oh, but you're not very resilient, are you? There we go. You regain your your break is so fat. That's interesting. AP at fifty percent. Oh oh oh! So close, so close. Oh, who won? Did I win? Did I win? That was very close. Look at that. Target destroyed. <laughs> you don't get any heals for. Uh, for the arena matches. Wow. Yeah, but like, you saw how fast he recovered from being stunned, from being stance broken. Like, holy cow! That's something that you that is determined by um, some of your parts. How fast your your energy comes back, and like your your ACS comes back. Little Ziggy. Oh yeah, okay. So we did um we one of the first missions we did this stream was we went to the same place. We went to the wall again to recover some battle logs. Uh for sneaky Arena reasons, I guess. Aptitude evaluation program number 24. Rank and we met Z. Exactly. Subject dual AC. grenade launchers. You you. She's with the um Little Z. She's with the Liberation Front. 
Commencing evaluation. The battle logs we're talking about. Her. She's like the she's like the Liberation's front little sister. Activating combat. So of course we uh, like kill her. Or can at least. I didn't actually get her. get the timing on the grenade launcher then I'm gonna like it I can tell there we go target destroyed timing the dodges like the evaluation well done uh, there's times where I feel like the dodge button is so far away from my thumb when I need it, and I just can't I need to be like anticipating the dodges, right? Instead of reacting to a grenade flying through the air at you. Getting everyone's emblems, very good. V7? We haven't met V7. Weinburn? Swineburn? Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 23, rank E, final evaluation. Subject AC, guidance, call sign. Look at that emblem. <laughs> Swinburn. Commencing evaluation. I would struggle with this game, but and my partner literally couldn't play it. Games that use all the controller on issue. Yeah, it's. Uh, not easy. Ooh. It's not like... Oh, you have something cool, don't you? Electric discharge. You're just gonna fly up in the corner? Okay. Yeah, well, that works. You recover pretty quick too, don't you? Oh, come on! Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh my god! Ha! Ah. Oh, that was close! That one was close! So I can't help but notice that I had, like, an electric discharge meter there. I think that's our, um, our status meter. I think fire is also another status. Because there was a lot of fire in that boss fight. I have 10 chips now. Very good. I think we can buy some toys. That's a really funky emblem. <laughs> it's not only using all of the buttons, it's using them in very quick succession. And in and, and very precise, uh, very precisely timed sometimes. So. Congratulations. Not an easy video game. I enjoy it all the same, but this is the kind of difficulty that I like. All mind exists for all mercenaries. There are games that use the whole controller and, and are very precise, like shooters. Those aren't my kind of video game. But this, I like quite a lot. Was it? To unlock more stuff? I don't see. Let's see more. Yeah, whatever. Uh, and then missions. Okay. Chapter 2. Infiltrate grid 086. Reach the center. 
X rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. Okay. So it's gonna be from air. Here's the request from Balan yeah. Industries. So now the voice in our head is just answering emails on our behalf. To confirm the information Walter brought to them about the coral convergence. As for how to cross the Alien Ocean. Walk. This is the intercontinental cargo launcher installed on the upper level of grid Gun. 086. You could use it to launch your AC to the ice field. Hilarious! Oh my god. Is That's cool. By the dozers. Outlaws the dozers? Coral like a drug. Hmm. The dozers. It's also the territory of a belligerent group of arms dealers who call themselves RAD. Be prepared for a perilous journey. Coral addicts and belligerent arms dealers. That's exactly where we want to go. Alrighty. Let's get to it, voice in my head. So I'm getting vibes of the coral having a conscious or being composed of consciousnesses. And she started talking to us the instant we were like exposed to a whole bunch of coral. Or the, the fires, I guess. We'll be up here in the, the mechanical junk. Cool. Sorry, this is an annoying question, but what exactly is your character doing working for a company? I'm working for Walter. And working for is, um... Putting it strongly, I guess. Walter's my handler. And we don't really know much more of that context. Let's head toward the elevator, go into the upper level. Okay, so we're going up. Oh, this is cool. We spent a lot of time on the ground. Um, but Walter and I... Oops. Ah, ah. Oh, you got, like, swords and stuff, too. That's cool. Alright. Like a human, but maybe not. We are an augmented human. Um, that's what we've been referred to as. We are a Generation 4 augmented human, which are apparently known to be a little unstable, whatever that means. Um, you got these little cruise missile things. Oh god. Oh god. We are here because of Coral. Um, as far as the only context we've gotten is um, two repair kits remaining. Coral is valuable. We are here to exploit Coral for the money, and then the way Walter said it in like the first mission was like it'll be enough money for a, a merc with a fried brain to buy their life back. Oh. It's this guy. Yes. I fought this guy in the arena. <laughs> Invincible, you say. Whoops! He's got a... Oh, and he's got a chainsaw. <laughs> Got you again. Looks like you're having fun. Taurus. Oh, it's Cinder. You know, R.A.D. loves a good welcome party. Come on in and let's get acquainted. How courteous. Let's take her up on the offer, Raven. Um, I remember you said it was being about a power source. Yeah, coral. Coral is the main thing. Uh, in this game. <laughs> the, that's the thing we're all here for because of. 
a formidable dose of fashion. She joined them three years ago, bringing with her a crew of junk wizards and hackers. She seized her control and greatly steamed her operations. <laughs> Oop, ow, 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 ow. Um, so, so yeah, we're, we're here because coral is valuable, but of course there's going to be other reasons, right? Um, Walter is our handler, but there's going to be more to that that we don't know. We are an augmented human, but there's going to be more to that. Uh, so yeah, there's still, still a lot of question marks, but that's to be expected at this stage. Like the nature of coral is also gonna be a big question. Oh hi! It's a it's a droidica. Oh! Oh ow! That wasn't right. No repair kits remaining. Well. Hopefully we had a checkpoint or something. Very much a droidica. Yeah, right? Alright, oh, there's just stuff everywhere. We're getting, we're getting pounced. I like these little guys. These guys remind me of, um... Oh, what were they called? In, um... Ghost in the Shell. In the series. There was the friendly robots. They're all, they're very, like, the very childlike robots. What they look like. Oh god! Okay, I should have seen that coming. Don't stand directly in front of the droidicas. Yeah, episode one droids are all all amazing. The B1s, the B2s. Oh man. Don't get me going on Star Wars. These guys. Okay. I don't know if there was a checkpoint in there somewhere. <laughs> we can do that better. Oh, there is a checkpoint. Okay. Well, that's good. Uh, okay, we're good. Sure am. You know, R.A.D. loves a good welcome party. Come on in. Let's get a of O game in school. My O game alliance was called Droidy. Oh yeah. Uh, that sounds vaguely cool. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, these guys. They're not quite, but like the little, the squat little four-legged guys with two arms. I mean, that feels like whatever they were called. Okay, so I'm gonna get jumped on here. Kept us waiting for us. Yeah, there they are. Told you we love a good party. That works. Oh, yeah, okay. We're gonna like to do the the roll and then missile barrage. Wow, Two repair kits remaining. We were doing well, then some ranked two guy killed us cause that that's how O game works. That's fair. Okay. We're 
gonna drop down. It was gonna be someone behind us. Yep. Need to get in the habit of reloading. It's been a while since I've played a game with a gun. Hi! Turned around. This is where I was before. Oh, I see. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, okay. Can I shoot those missiles out of the air? No, they just. Okay. I need to learn, figure out how to do the picking, too. So fire bad. Ow. Ow. One repair kit He's oh, better, I guess. The browser game started with a planet. Built mines. This sounds familiar. Then you spent spent it on more mines. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, tension is limited. <laughs> okay. Oh. Bye! I do that jumping attack is so cool. It was almost always a guy like Loki Noob Murder 7. <laughs> uh, uh, we're still going up? Over, I guess? Carefully. Now's the part I wish I had a whole bunch of missiles, but that's fine also. Oh, uh, 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 cool. Dang right I am. Gonna blow up your shield. Too bad. Ah. Well, that's what I was gonna do. Here we go. <laughs> All right, Turin. That's enough. You've made your point. Yes, I have. I surrender. It's just not worth the losses. I'm not even here for you. you also, what trap are you leading me into now? Oh, I give up. Okay, I believe you. Rocket fridge? Rocket fridge! Definitely gonna be a boss fight then. Sweet. You're not afraid of anything, are you? Nope. Oh hi! Smart cleaner. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Oh my god. 
Oh no! Well played, Cinder. Oh, and it's gonna. Okay. So we need to stay away from its, uh. arms. There's like two. Oh, there's two points to target. Finder arms can easily do. Yeah, I know this. Imagine. No? Okay, so I don't want to be on top of that. But I bet that. You're like a. Oh. Oh dear. Shooting inside that open door, I imagine, is good. Can I get grenades in there? Not quite. There we go. Yeah, I just don't want to be on the ground, do I? Oh, but it's thirty percent. It can just like explode and get rid of me. Shooting down into it, good? Okay, so there's a break. And I can smack it. Oh, it has so much health. Can I... I bet I can shoot into its face when it's down, though. That's probably what I want to do. Oh, it's flaming! And it's doing fireballs. Oh man, this is a this is this is a from software boss. You can like land on it too. Ooh, not quite. Get away. Almost. Nice. I heard you were good. Nope, come on. pattern has changed. Okay, so now. Now its weak point is covered in lava. I can come in here. I did a little bit more. Oh, that was pretty good. Okay, okay, okay. That is what we want to do. Oh boy. Stay up here. Ooh. Oh, that one's. That's a new one. That's a new one. Oh. Oh, what, what did it hit me with that time? I didn't even see it. Okay. Autonomous Heavy Smart Cleaner. Love to see the stats of how many players don't immediately die there. I know, right? Well, in the last big boss, too, the Juggernaut, like, it starts with a charge like that, too. It definitely got me the first time, and several times afterwards. Jeez, and even just a single dodge. It is... Does a repair kit's worth of damage just on that opener? My, is there a spot where it's not? I think we can just, like, try to aim down into it. 
There we go. So now let's get over here. Oh. Good. Oh, let's stay over on this side. <laughs> Thank you very much. Whoops. Yeah. Staying in the air. Good. And then, whoops, the little one touch those. Okay, and get out of the corner. Now you're gonna shake me off. There we go. There we go. What do you think about that? And then you're going to do a little burp. And then I can smack you. Not so smart now, are you? Wow. The bigger they are. I'm just stuck in here. <laughs> Smart? You want to huh? go up top, right? Let me show you the way. Guide a tour from Cinder Carla herself. Yeah, I was like, I'm just passing through, right? I wasn't here to smack up your shit. But if you insist. 300 grand. Very nice. That was a lot easier than that last one. Automated. PCS flamethrower dude. There's been a lot of fire recently, hasn't there? No new messages. No one's here to congratulate me on. Raven, we've received a job from RAD's leader, Carla. Now she wants to hire me. This could just be another one of her traps. Uh huh. But after the impression you left on her last time, I think it's unlikely. Let's take a look at the briefing. Already. Um, I'm gonna go run to the restroom just real quick, but I will be right back. I have returned. What next? Eliminate the Dozer faction. What? Isn't she... Okay. Or is this not the same thing? Ah, or no, Cinder is a uh, RAD. About my promise to take you up top. 
need a little help cleaning up first. You see, a certain someone smashed up all my defense hardware. And yeah. now I've got rival dozers muscling in. Oh, sucks, doesn't it? It's the Junker Coyotes. Huh. We never did get on. Always sniffing around and snapping at our heels. <sighs> They're a dull company, tourist. One thing, though. They're using RADMTs. Hot from the black market. Hmm. They might be a pack of dumb animals. But at least they know quality workmanship. <laughs> anyway, you know the score. You made this mess, now you get to clean it up. Well, technically, I'm asking you to make a whole new mess. But they cancel each other out, <laughs> right? You know what to do. Now get out there. I also destroyed your smart cleaner, so yeah, I guess that's fair. Eliminate the dozers. Your handler didn't authorize this one to either. He's not here right now, though. But we shouldn't miss this chance. I'll support you. Main system activating combat mode. Yes, I'm liking my loadout right now. Let's get rolling, tourist. Get out there and bag me some coyotes. Sure. They're already moving in, Raven. Let's handle them. I find it interesting that uh, Air doesn't know our our real name. She she only knows hey, us by our call sign. Hello. I've never seen one like that before. Must have got a sweet deal from Carla. Send in the punchers and kick us. Some stuff going on up here. Oh, there's a lot. Okay, we're going we're going backwards through the last one. Figured you could handle this on your own. So I called off my MTs. How kind of you. Look, fella! We got company! And an ape dumbass rummy. That one RAD newbie. Hold on, sky high! You think I'm that other guy? That guy I killed. Way over there. Oops, that was the wrong button. I want to do the kicking. No! That was. Oh, come on. There's just they're just everywhere, aren't they? What's the kick button? Dope, dope, dope. Dope. Oh, come on. Looks like it's over. Guess I was right to pick you for the job. Easy. And now, it's my turn to help you. I'm also appreciative of the pace of short missions that are simple and not too difficult, but, you know, we'll be S-ranking them is also a thing, so, you know, good, easy to do, but maybe hard to master, but then also, like, difficult boss encounters. Like, I'm, I'm really liking how that's breaking down. 
Guess you noticed that job from Balaam and decided to take it. You're welcome. I see you're heading for the cargo launcher now. Not a bad idea. I'll give you that. <laughs> Keep heading for the ice field. I'll take care of some loose ends in the meantime. Yeah, we know nothing about Walter other than he's our handler. Oh, um, I never went into here, so clicking again. Okay, okay, okay. So the boost button is also the kick button while boosting. Now we, we have 10 chips, so I should be doing um, terminal armor. I mean, yeah, that's, that's just, that's just so good. Don't even have to do anything for it to, right? That's just a passive. Yeah. Um, and then... Kinetic weapon f damage, explosive damage, energy damage, melee damage, direct hit damage, precision of attacks against staggered enemies. That's also very good. Oh, we already got... Or no, we don't have that one yet. It's very good. How about repair kits? That's what we should do. That's the, that's the wise thing, so let's do that. See if we can get some kicks in. We're continuing through grid 086 toward the intercontinental cargo launcher. As promised, Carla has agreed to serve as our guide. I'm not sure how safe it is to trust a dozer. But if we turn her down, we turn her knowledge down as well. So the R.A.D. are Raven. part of Cinder. the Dozers? Carla's nickname? That's what the Rubiconians call survivors of the fires of Ibis. Mm. But if the fires happened half a century ago... Ah, we didn't know that time frame. Well, it could just be some Dozer inside joke. I doubt it. But she's significant for reasons. And this concludes this chapter. Interesting. We're moving on. This will be our third sortie together, Raven. I'm quite enjoying the routine. Well... So if she's main system activating combat more than half a century old, that's, Here we a, go, Taurus. that's cool. I'll lead the way, just as promised. But after this, you owe me one. Uh, I don't know if I agree. This elevator goes straight to the top of the grid. The outer shell. Sadly, that's beyond my territory. I so mean, that's where you're. <laughs> once you're out there, the PCA satellites see everything. Ah, A few okay. of the stupider dozers took it as a challenge, went out to prove themselves. You can guess what happened. They made it, and everything was fine. A dozer. A dozer is a um, one of the factions. Within firing range of the PCA satellites. Um. I mean, Air was just saying that Carla is a dozer or one of the do like. I assume dozers are like a a faction of sub factions, but they're um, arms dealers, uh, belligerents. They're 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 the scum, right? They're the scum and villainy. Um, and there's just lasers coming from the sky. So that's cool. We're trying to go over there. I'm assuming we don't want to get seen. Oh, no, we're still we're still moving. Please keep going. We're moving. Well, ah, okay, yep. Security system. 
Keep going. Oh, it's pointed that way, is it? Oh, okay. Dodging too early, as is tradition. We haven't fought these yet. <laughs> Don't know what these are doing, other than exploding. Let's get the cargo launcher ready. There, access the container. Now, if you could just step inside. Uh, but what was? Enemy detected. No, there was a. Oh, I missed a resupply, didn't I? Hi. Oh, that's Great. that's cool. Oh God. Sea spider. Neat. Uh, we're we're back into a boss fight. <laughs> I hope it's okay that I okay. Yeah, I didn't get my resupply, but I get my stuff back for restarting a checkpoint anyway. Okay. Now, if you just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. All right. That machine. Ooh, didn't like that, did it? Found a sea weapon. That thrust is a sea spider. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of health. Oh god! Okay, 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 okay. Now I'm stuck against a wall, that's good. Oh gosh. Oh. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Oh gosh. And we're also doing, like, the... Has so much health. Oh my god. Focus on Duhuzi Thoth is associated with time and also magic. So fires of Ibis could have some time heckery. Oh, interesting. That's an interesting thought. I like the spider's pine cone. I know, right? It's very cool looking. Um, I also can't help but notice, so From Software really likes their color coding um, of, of effects, right? And the color coding of this thing's weaponry feel a whole lot like the fires. Um, so is it wielding the fires of Ibis in some way? Kind of hard to tell, because it's not like plasma weapons or energy weapons like we have access to. Doing all this red stuff. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait, enemy detected. <sighs> that machine. Great, we found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the institute's relics left a There we go. Now what's it doing here? Oh, this 
Hi. Has a lot of big things it can do to me. But let's do blast, blast, lunge. Oh, blast, blast, lunge. Slowly. Gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Lady mentioned that it being a relic of the Institute that it died in the fire. Well, I mean, she said it was. I mean, I took that as the Institute died in the fire. But that could mean anything, right? It's a sea spider. Yeah. So, what do you think the odds are that C stands for coral? Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. This is from the Institute's. Coral line of weaponry. I think you're right. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait, enemy detected. Was transported to time, to, through time from that machine. the cataclysm to now. Great, found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. Coral response from the generator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is absolutely coral stuff. That machine is Blast, blast, lunge. Not always, though. So sometimes it can follow up a double blast with a lunge. Oh my god. Keep moving. There's a lunge. That was cool. Oh, I'm inside your minimum range, aren't I? Oh, that was three. And that was a, a sustained laser. Ooh, come on. I got blades too. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Oh, what are you doing now? What are you doing now? Now you're just now you can just hover. Good. Come on, you're gonna you're gonna come at me, aren't you? Oh! No, you're just gonna bombard. Oh good. Oh good. I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought the Institute was the thing that died in the fire. Yeah, yeah, she said it's a, a relic left to haunt Rubicon. But it's also it's also very possible, like you say, if there's time shenanigans going on. It could be it could have it could be sent to us by the coral. Maybe this thing maybe the coral gets to control all these coral weapons that the Institute now, made. If you could just step inside. Wait. Also, maybe they cause the fires? Yeah, like, absolutely on the table, right? They were doing stuff like this. Great. We found a sea weapon. 
That tourist is a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. I need like a charge shot. That, I haven't done that much. That's a lot of junk. That's a lot of junk. Nope, 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 nope. Wow. This just can't be the institute. Dying with full with full health uh full health uh repairs. Juhudi and Thoth is also associated with science and writing. Hmm. So the fires of Ibis is like destruction because of our knowledge. Destruction, destruction via knowledge. Enemy detected. <sighs> I should open with a charge shot, shouldn't I? Found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the institute's relics. What was that? Couldn't hear you over you being on the ground and letting me hit you so much. Oh, that was meant to be a dodge. Oh, that was different. That was like four. Interesting. It's got some attacks I haven't seen, clearly. This is way better. This is way harder than the smart cleaner. Wonder if the Institute was doing something sciencey and caused a massive chain reaction of coral. Yeah. Something sciencey and or they I think they pissed it off. Enemy detected. Great. You found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the institute's relics left to haunt Khan. There we go. Oh, it still got me. Shoot at the ceiling. Oh no, 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 was not worth it. Yeah, okay. I was I was fully expecting So I was expecting there to be like a um like coral or fires of ibis or whatever being a damage type is not surprising given the pattern that you know, from software goes for, but I was expecting it to be a status effect. I was expecting this to be rot. So I'm I'm okay with it not being that, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But I feel like this 
could be worse. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the institute's relics left a lot of common. Now what's it doing here? Almost cool. Just missing the part where I don't get hit. Ow. Yeah, I don't get hit by that. Okay. <laughs> also, Gantrock, I assume you're also playing. Have you... Where are you? In relation to this, have you are you past me? Just just curious. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. Great. We found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. Relics left a hot and gone. Now what's it doing here? Let's get in there. Right. Oh, Why? Hmm. Knowing the difference between it's charging a blast or like a, a line laser. That's tricky. I've not gotten past the wall. That's fair. That one took a minute. That's for sure. I'm not too far past that. Side. Haven't fought it yet. Oh, that's fair. Enemy detected. I'm curious how. Uh, I'm curious how your first several attempts at the at the juggernaut will be. Oh, that was that was almost cool. Okay. I want to get under. Oh. Times where I want to get under it when it's doing the lunge. That's not very safe. Ugh, come on. Come on. Come on! Come on! I played like five total missions, including fighting the student driver. Yeah, yeah.
Those middle missions, like you, I mean, you were. Thank you, no, you That first inside. mission took me a minute. Wait. My goodness. Uh, but then, like, all the missions between the first one and the wall go pretty quick, I thought. There we go. That was good. Oh, I can do a horizontal line too, of course. No, 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 no. AP and AP at 30%. Raven, your AC is damaged. Focus on evasive action. This is not enough for someone to trip over. Who leads this around? I think it's here of its own accord. <laughs> the little. The little zappies. Talk about attrition. So now you're gonna do a horizontal one. Yeah. God. Oh. Duh. a little bad about that, but not so bad that I'm not going to farm them for some money. Yeah, no kidding. Um, yeah, the fighting the student uh, AC pilot is just like, no, I just wanted my license. Blah! Yeah, that was that was a good one. Now, if you could just step inside. Assuming so, I, mean, so I was seeing if I could. Oh, I didn't actually press the button. I was seeing if you could charge the grenades, but clearly not. Wait. Enemy detected. Found a that okay. I'm like messing around with my weapons and One doing too many things at once. Get out! Get out! Much stuff. Keep it up, Raven. Okay, so now you're gonna be mad. Oh, come on. Come back here. Come back here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
is a sea spider a crab or an octopus i believe if we're talking about real real sea spiders i believe they are a crustacean thing so i think i think more crab than octopus sea spiders are a thing still feels way less horrible than moog's magical cliff of hate crimes yeah that's fair <laughs> now if you could just step inside wait enemy detected That's the edge. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And so they are. Yeah, yeah. They're like little long spindly ones, right? They're like crabs, but their legs are like spiders. Like a daddy long leg style. the things where it's going on. I'm aware. There we go. Stop it. Oh, I got okay. Not gonna be enough though. Oh, oh, yes, you just can't beat the institute. <laughs> it's like not all the attacks are equivalent, right? It's not like I need to dodge every of the little of the little pin lasers. They look as menacing, but they're not. They're they're, they're more there for attrition, right? As opposed to the the big cannon, which is there to blow me up. Enemy detected. Ow. One of the institute's relics left to haunt Rukon. Now what's it doing here? A crawl is from the generator. This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raven. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists, Jervis. The fires of Ivan's may have taken the institute.
Noob! Come here! There we go. Dodging too soon and then getting stabbed in the face. That's how that goes. I'm also training my ears on the audio cues. The audio cues in this game are very different and way important from other games. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Took me a while to, to notice the, the the missile warning. Machine. Like even picking it out, like in the middle of a fight like this. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the institute's relics of the heart of Khan. Now what's it? There we go. My God! Two repair kits remaining. Whoa! At thirty percent. Focus on evasive action. Nice to see what they have for someone to trip over. Oh, shut up. There's so many things to be paying attention to. My health, my ACS, my ammo, incoming fire, it lunging at me, missiles that it shoots that go off the screen but are still tracking me. Those are fun. Now, if you could just step inside. Not that that's new here, but like, for real. Oh, I didn't. Didn't actually do the thing that I. Wait, enemy detected. That machine. Great, we found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the oh. institute's relics left behind. Those do still hurt. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists, Jurist. Fire survived this big demon institute. The dirty book survived. Was almost good, not quite. One repair kit remaining. Well, you can dodge while you're assault boosting, but it's it's, it's a fast thing. It's taking damage. Keep it up, Raven. No repair kits remaining. Second one was too early. No. I think you take slightly less damage while assault boosting. That's what it said. Just impact damage. That's good. That's a good distinction. Is it less impact damage or less damage damage? But like, it's less, but it's definitely not none. I think it's 
definitely preferable now, so you can just step to inside. not get hit. Wait. Right? Enemy detected. Night, nighty night. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I'll be, I'll be here. I have a spider to have fun with. Found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the institute's relics left a haunt room con. Now what's it doing here? This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raven. That was a good round. Bunch of mad scientists, tourist. Fires by shooting all wildly now. Doesn't know where to get me. Oh, that was the wrong button. That's fine now. Nope, 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 nope. Wow. 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 <laughs> Note to self, if it can unload its whole kit into my face at once, it can kill me. <laughs> Preferable not get hit unless you really, really need to punch the spider in the face while it charges at you. Yeah. Well, I imagine different builds are going to have different Wait. Enemy detected. preferences on that, right? Like, if you're doing a real lightweight build, I imagine you, you just really want to not get hit. But if you're, like, doing a, a tank or a, um, tetrapod, you can probably just tank things with your face much more frequently. Not all the time, clearly. It's, yeah, those missiles. They're not difficult to dodge on their own, but when they're on top of everything else, they can be a problem. How about I smack it some? <laughs> Let me heal, please. I do like it though. I'm still. Now, if you could just step inside. It's such a punishing way to enjoy yourself, isn't it? That tourist is a sea spider. One of the institute's relics left a hot con. Now what's it doing here? Machine. That machine is going to fire a bunch of 
No, the corners. The corners. Go. Oh, keep moving. Keep moving. Nope, it just does it again. That's cool. AP at fifty percent. Yeah. Taking damage. Keep it up, Raven. AP at thirty percent. Raven, your AC is damaged. Yeah, I'm aware. Oh my god. The fact that the little lasers can shoot through its own body. A little rude. Get one more in, I swear. No! <laughs> Good luck with Citizen Speed Spider. I got to do a shopping trip. Okie dokie. Wish me luck. I guess you just did. I'll be here. I'm wondering. I don't know if our laser cannon. I mean, I'm told. There's also this. Supposedly, electrical damage is good for hitting things that are stunned and doing more direct damage to them. But I don't know. I I just step inside. I don't know. Enemy detected. Our grenade launcher is doing great though. Yes, yes. I wonder if like grenade plus explosions, like just a straight up explosive missile is the smarter choice. Now if you could just step inside. It has so much health that we're gonna have to stance break it several times. And that explosion is doing pretty good. The grenade launcher is doing very good at getting through it. One of the Institute's relics 
left a hot Rubicon. What's it doing oh. here? Line. Yep, yep. Okay. That's okay. So it's the way that it's pointing tells you what it's going to do. Go full explosion explosion because that seems to build up its its uh, its meter uh, this is a, a that I mean I could also do I have a bigger one on this side I have the eight cell on this side but then I, I I mean I do really like the grenade launcher let's try this let's see what that does let's see if that changes anything Wait. Enemy detected. That machine. Great. Found a sea weapon. That tourist well, wasn't is a sea bad. Spy. Not great, though. Its relics left a hot recon. Now what's it doing here? Pressure on. Now, two repair kits remaining. Whoa, come on. To clear my my ACS. Easier said than done. There we go. No, get out! Ooh. Knock it in the corners. Now what? Oh, now you're doing this. I've only done this once. Ugh. Okay. That was... Okay. That really is a pine cone, isn't it? to its air phase.
Having tracking missiles will be good for the air phase, I think. This is going to be so far away. Now, if you could just I was noticing my inside. rifle was Wait. ricocheting at that distance. Shut up with the lasers! Taking damage. Keep it up, Raven. Oh, come on! Where was this? There we go. So now it's going to want to fly, right? Oh. Dodging, like, knowing the timing of the second one is... The pause between you getting the the alert of the the alert in the first one is so much longer than between the first one and the second one. It's like you're sitting there like waiting for the second one or for, waiting for the first one, and then the second one comes out right after. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait, enemy detected. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> I thought I broke it. Okay. wasn't as smart as I thought it was. All the time here behind this crate. Alrighty. Alrighty. Oh, 
That tourist is a sea spider. Just right in a row. That's cool. I need to get out of here. Mike, settle down. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? There we go. Ugh. No repair kits remaining. Be inside the minimum range for that. Yeah. Nope, nope. Just also need to be more intentional about opening up space to regen my ACS. Because I'll get I'll get I'll break it, but be at like three quarters, right? And do my damage. But then afterwards, now I still have all of that inside. gauge filled. Wait. And then it blasts me in the face, and then I break, and then it murders me. Come on. Come on, you were so close. Oh, just end me. The little pin missiles through the body is real cool. Real cool. This one, this one's a mulligan. I don't even care. Oh, there we go. gonna be cool. Uh. 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 Wait. Enemy detected. Great. Found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea Don't do that. One of the institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. Now what's it doing here? <laughs> I 
Jeez. The was created by a bunch of mad scientists tourists. The fire's alive is painting the institute. The dirty looks alive. Goodness. AP at 50%. Oh, what happened to my follow up there? Okay. Last you in the butt all day long. No, you don't. No move. Move, no. There we go. Just can't beat the institute, of course. How many video games have an institute full of mad scientists that make things you have to deal with? So I feel like it's several. Just step inside. Wait, enemy detected. That machine. Found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. It's like I'm already almost broken myself. None right there, yeah. Oh. It does like it does a line, but it, uh, that one tracks you a bit. Still gotta, still gotta dodge, even if you move after it starts. The, the horizontal slice isn't so bad. Trick can catch you out. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait, enemy detected. Here we go. One of the institute's relics left to haunt with Khan. Now what's it doing here? This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raymond. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists, journalist. The fire's light is empty. The dirty works of light. There we go. No, come on. Oh, come on. I'm aware. Guess you just can't leave the institute. 
I'll just hide behind this thing. No. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. There we go. Okay. See, I can do it. You just gotta... You just gotta string together perfection while running into stuff I'm right up it. That is great. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. Okay. I'm seeing it. Starting to see it. But oh my god. I am still in love with this grenade launcher, though. I'm very happy with that. Enemy detected. Great. Found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. Oh. Did you change your mind in the middle of charging? Yep. The pin missiles don't do much stamp or they don't do much vitality damage, but they do a bunch of stamp damage. See now I'm too full to like Yeah. You can't press in when you're at 90%. Great for video games. Now, if you could just step inside. Oh. Left too quickly. Wait. Enemy detected. Wait. We found a sea weapon. That must is a sea spider. Oh. Oh, why? Missing the follow-ups is very painful. 
Why did I do that? I'm just pushing buttons at this point. Be worth it to try and like backstep when it's lunging. I feel like its range is so big that that wouldn't get me out. Damage. Keep it yeah, circling is definitely the way to go. Get out! Oh my god! I had a good run in there. Like two or three rigs right in a row. I just need to not... Like, there's an ideal range for every moment of the fight. And it changes rapidly. Now, if you could just step inside... Wait. Enemy detected. Yes, and I want to not get hit. Yeah, oh my gosh. At 30%. The Raven, your AC is damaged. Focus on evasive action. The amount of ACS damage the pin missiles do, the pin lasers, whatever, is ridiculous. That was good. That was exactly what I meant to do. Oh, I didn't die. No, I died. <laughs> oh boy, 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 boy. I want to. I want to. I want to get to its second bit more. I've only seen the hover phase twice. I don't know what to do about it, but I know I can get there. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. That machine. Great. We found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spot. Nope. S down. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. Now, what's it doing? Oh. oh, that one blocked it. Oh, what do you mean? I was dodging. Oh, 
My god. Nope, that was just straight up the wrong button, wasn't it? And that was a third one. There we go. Your hover bits. My shoulder ammunition at fifty percent. There we go. AP at thirty percent. Wait, you didn't. Now it's yeah, whatever. Alrighty. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait, enemy detected. Was the wrong timing on that. There we go. No, I'm stuck. Ugh. Oh, see, still uh. one prepared kit remaining. Thought I had time. Oh, yeah. I, guess it just can't be that I assume there's going to be a horizontal sweep. It's like it starts, it charges, and then it decides. Like its initial posture isn't going to tell you which one it's going to do. It's like it, it starts charging, and then it positions to what it's going to do. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait, enemy detected. Not, not get hit. Not get hit. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists. The fire's fire survived this pandemic institute. The dirty work survived. Oh my god, that hurts so bad. Now, yep, you <laughs> need to actually dodge before you move in.
Oh, what's going on? Hello. And then we die. <laughs> yep. Guess you just can't beat the institute. Yep. I didn't notice the sky is like actually moving. Well then. I don't know what this so it's not like we can go well, can just step inside. Like we can farm, right? We can redo some missions to get some some more money if we want. But I don't think it's the I don't think it's uh my build it being lacking is the problem. Here. Now we wanna knock it hit. No. That's the wrong button. Oops, get close, get close. Oh, it's not what I meant. Okay. The rain is rotting. A lot to pay attention to here. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. So close. One of the institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. Now what's it doing here? The crow is in the generator. This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raven. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists, Jervist. Fires by this may have taken the institute. The dirty book survived. No! I'm aware. I mean, I got it. I keep getting it down to like 50 ish percent, but it's not doing its hover thing again. I just want to see that again. Ugh. Not. I mean, I'm getting good practice at like this base phase, but it has some big capstone move that I haven't seen enough to even know what to do. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. I'll just charge this one too. We found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. There we go. One of the 
looks like a hot recon. Now what's it doing here? Oops. Come on. That works. Oh, come on. But it stays broke longer than me. Hit a little bit. Oh, now it's going. Now, if I can break it now, that'd be amazing. That's gonna do the whole other thing. There we go. There we go. That was probably good. Okay. It's just gonna. Hover around and be menacing. Oh, do uh, do one of those. That's what I was waiting for. That's what I was waiting for. I wonder if it... I mean, I broke it while it was taken off, and it didn't land or change its phase afterwards, so I wonder if it takes off and just stays up there. Wouldn't that be cool? Yup, 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 yup. God love bosses. I should go back and fight uh, Smart Cleaner again. That one felt good. I beat Smart Cleaner on the second try. I was like, literally the mission before this one. That was just the wrong that button. Oh is a sea spider. One of the institute's relics left a Now what's it doing here? It was an awful start. Oh. 
it's just stomping all over the place. That was good. <laughs> Reliably getting halfway even when I'm doing awful. So that's something. Goodness. My goodness. Yes, you just can't Again, halfway. It's a very it's a very in and out thing that I'm trying to do here, I think. I wanna get in its face enough to break it and punish it, but then get out so that I can, you know, gut get Enemy All the tracking missiles off my butt and clear my stream. Like that. And then come back out. Nope, that was oh, it just straight up killed me. Yes, you just can't beat this. I I I sorted into its sword and it won. That was good otherwise. I just needed to wait for it to get behind me and then I was gonna grenade its back, but I jumped the gun. Literally. Now if you could just step inside. 
point. Enemy detected. You get like further back too. Keep getting caught in corners. Great. We found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the institute's relics of the hunt. What's it doing here? There we go. An actual no-hit cycle. That won't ever happen again. Oh, so we need to get out. Now we need to get out! What did I just say? <laughs> More shinies! Thank you, thank you. Oh. I'm letting a green mech now, now yes. You can just step inside. I sure am. Wait. Enemy detected. Also, welcome to hell. on it. Objective will be the best color. I agree! Really happy with my paint job. Uh, thing reminds me of the big drill bots from Matrix. Oh, that's true. The, uh, like the squids. Not quite the squids. There was other ones. There was like the actual drill bots too. Once in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we were talking inside. earlier, I mean, I've been here for a little while, but uh, we were talking Enemy earlier detected. about the fact that it's all coral-aligned stuff. Great. We found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt with Khan. There we go. That wasn't too bad. I need to get the frick out of here.
gonna take off now. Not quite. I'm okay with you staying on the ground and letting you hit me there. Just really curious what the trigger is. Oh, nice. Nope. Let's get out. Let's get out. There it goes. It still doesn't like that. Oh, but it can just nuke the ground. Okay, we need to be in the air. We need to be in the air. How so? Oh, the coral stuff? I mean, so... Uh, I mean, A, From Software really likes their color coding stuff, so all the... That color, the red scraggliness, that's like, that's Fires of Ibis, uh, pretty sure is what's going on. Um, and if you can hear the dialogue that's going on as we're fighting, you can just step inside. Um, this is apparently a product of the Institute, which we were just hearing about for the first time. There's a C weapon, and guess what that stands for. Great. Found a C uh, but the, the implication we're getting from all this is that the Institute was some group of people, mad scientists, who were trying to weaponize coral in some way, and this is something that they made, and now it's just still here and sucks. That's what we're- that's what we've gathered from this- this fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy! It's still... at the 50% and using only one heal and then dying. Very cool. Yeah, getting stance broken is bad. As expected. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. Away from me! Part where I get overloaded.
The little lasers are so... It's getting warm in here. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Not so much better at game already. I know, right? Um, I I did play some off stream. Uh, turns out you can replay missions, and they give you like a rank and stuff. Found a so I replayed some of the stream, the games we played in the first stream, off stream. The you know, mess with my paint scheme and whatnot. Now what's it doing here? Oh, come on! Oh. There's still so much to learn, though. I am still so deficient. But when you do it right, it feels so dang good. Oops, I'm gonna, yep. No, move! Well, that was really stupid. Kick. It has like different heights it can do the sweep at. I bet it can aim to the height that you're currently at when it starts or something. Ugh. I saw that one coming too. One of the big differences, uh, as opposed to like Elden Ring, is uh, there's no there's no iframes when you're dodging. So, like in Elden Ring, there's times where you're you're timing your dodge so that you're, you know, in the middle of the dodge animation while an attack is happening. So you can time, you know, the damaging part with your invincibility part, right? That makes sense. But that's not how it works in this game. If you're dodging while a hit is being fired, and you're, you're still in the spot where it's gonna hit you, it's still gonna hit you, even if you're dodging. Like that. Yeah. Like with that lunge especially, I keep dodging as if I'm gonna be getting iframes from from the dodge. But I ain't. And the missiles are just everywhere always.
My goodness. My goodness. Okay. I'm gonna grab some water. So it's a little like God of War where the invincibility frames from a dodge are short. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, the do the iframes in Elden Ring are not especially long, but they exist. <laughs> that's the main difference. Okay, one second. Okay, I'm back. Hmm. Water's good. Okay. The fact that I can fill its meters so freaking fast and still get so annihilated is ridiculous. In, like, the best way. There we go. <laughs> so much health. Ugh. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> you okay there? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, we're just... I don't want to be... I don't want to be taking all that. There we go. I jumped into it. I jumped into it. Audio is acting up right now. My audio? Can you hear me? Me or the game's audio? Just in game audio? Hmm. Nothing has changed, so that's interesting. Hmm. Let me know if it sticks around. I haven't played Elden Ring much yet, only finished the tutorial and got one shot by some lance wheeling dude on a horse. Oh, that guy. That guy's a little infamous. In case you haven't figured out, the hint is to, uh, ignore that guy for now. God. Oh, 
No What I was supposed to do, this is gonna be a quick attempt. My god. Yeah. The little lasers don't do much damage, but they're there to fill your strain gauge and then stun you. So you take a big cannon shot to the face. And it's worked many times on me. Funny how they placed him outside the tutorial area. Still planning to finish the game, just got busy with life of God. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, whoops. Um. Yeah, his... His purpose is to teach you that you shouldn't fight every boss the first time you see them. That's the lesson you should be taking from, uh, Free Sentinel. <laughs> there we go. What? Uh, why? Tanky, yes, a little bit. It's so much health, and I keep, can't even get to its like phase two. I've only seen its phase two three times. That's a good one. There we go. Yeah. Yes, you just can't beat the institute. I mean, I'm I'm getting further into its health bar even when I feel like I'm like I'm knowing the mistakes that I'm making. So I'm making progress. As as much as it looks like I'm just sitting here for a long time fighting the same boss, I am figuring it out. Just step inside. My neurons are doing something in there. Oh, that was good. Oh yeah, just jump under it. That's that works. Yo, I need to back off and not do that. <laughs> I deserved that. So if they throw a big spider looking mech at you, perhaps we should try using big mechanic fly swat or something. Oh, that's fair. 
mean, I could give myself four legs. I don't know if I want to get in a leg battle, though. Maybe like here. Need to keep moving, need to keep moving. So close though. There we go. There's one. Now you're stuck in a corner, aren't you? Except you're not really stuck, are you? Oh, it's gonna... Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. It's fine. Even worse. know why, but why? <laughs> Chose to skip leg day and suffer the consequences. I mean, leg day doesn't usually give you more legs, right? I mean, if it does, you should tell me. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. Oh, being in the air. I don't know if that's a good thing for that. There we go. Nope, that was not... That wasn't the right thing to do right there. Of the many things I need to be timing here, one of them is the fact that the the grenade launcher, the big grenade launcher, I need to stop. Like, I need to actually stop and plant my feet when I fire it. Um, and that ha happens automatically. Um, like, I need to have... Like, there's always missiles in the air, right? But I need to have enough awareness of the missiles in the air that are about to hit me so that I don't stop to shoot my grenade and then get hit by a bunch of missiles. So like there, where you just kind of come to a stop. Oh, and the lasers. Now I'm paying too much attention to the missiles. Oh God! Focus on the base. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. There's that lack of iframes for you. Dodge and the laser happened at the same time, which means you just get hit. This is fine, though. There's already cheese. Now, if you could just step inside. I think I've been at this boss for a little while, but I, like, still want. Keep going. Oh, there we go. What's it doing here? This is no ordinary machine. Careful, Raven. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists, Jervist. Fire's life is made of demon institute. The dirty looks alive. Oh, come on! Two repair kits remaining. Get hit. Yeah, okay. Nope, that was wrong. Oh. Okay, ooh, that was maybe right. I don't think that was ideal, but I didn't die, so that's okay. Die! My god! There we go. Now we're gonna do all this stuff. It's taking off. Another I don't wanna be on the ground for this. Yeah. <laughs> That's Ooh, okay. Okay. Now, now what? Oh, come on. Let's get back up there. Ooh. Got so much health left. I think it's just gonna be doing this for the rest of the rest of the fight, probably. There we go. Missiles. Oh, get back here. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna nuke the ground. My out of, out of both my munitions. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh.
was really close. Now I know I can do it! Oh, that's the worst part, is now I know I can do it. You know, it definitely appears that once it takes off, it stays taped off. It stays taped off. I framed where those from software. I mean, we were, that's what we were just talking about. Uh, like, Elden Ring has iframes in the dodges. They're short, but they're there. It's got so much freaking health. Dodging, I was dodging. Yeah. Yeah, like in Elden Ring, if you have something big sweeping across at you like that, you can dodge. You can time a dodge to jump through the attack, but you can't do that here. We don't do that here. Okay. Time to focus and get serious. <laughs> Sword was still on cooldown, that's fine. Oh, that was okay. That wasn't as <laughs> badly timed as it could have been. There's just junk all around. Oh, God. Both those? Uh oh. What's going on? Oh, come on. That hurt me? I've been attending enough Smash Bros. tournaments to know a serious gamer pose looks like. <laughs> That's fair. I haven't thought about Smash Brothers in a while. 
I like Smash Brothers. Again, it's another game, PvP game that I love, and I'm not very good at in the, like, against other people sense, but I do love it. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, but it's like bunch of bad scientists. I swear that one can track me. It can just like my god, my god. So close. There we go. Guess you just can't beat the institution. Oh, okay. If we can get to the air phase with a health kit and some ammo left, I think we can do it. We were getting I feel like we were getting through its health faster when it was when it was in the airborne phase. This bottom this ground phase is brutal. Just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. That was fine. Close, Stay down. Still got me. My God. Yep, 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 yep. No repair kits remain. Try to dodge. Like your AP hack, 50%. Need to get like inside it. You can't really jump it, because it tracks. Just need to get inside its minimum range. Okay. 
I'm getting it. I'm getting it. One of the things that trips me up is that it can kind of just do like it'll have its own its sequences, right? But it can be in multiple sequences at once. Like it'll now, if you could just step it'll be doing its big Wait. big hover jump Wait. into the the leap, like the claw leap. It'll be doing it at the same time as the big turret laser. Great. You found a sea They're just independent of each other. That was the wrong button. I meant to do the cannon. And you just get hit sometimes. Oh my god. I was dodging. It didn't matter. Right. Oh, come on. Get in there. Again, you can break 50% pretty reliably. Ugh, I don't want to stop until I beat it. Now, if you could just step inside. For no other reason than it's personal. Enemy detected. Through that gap there, that was kind of cool. Yeah. Don't want to be close to it when it regains itself. <laughs> but I got it! 
Oh, and then just once my corpse, yeah. If I can break it like right from the start if I dive in and hit it. Now if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. That machine. Something in there, miss. Right. I usually we found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. There we go. One of the institute's relics left a hot con. Oh, that was. That was good. See, it still got me. Did it lead its shot that time? I feel like it didn't shoot at where I was when I was there for the second one. It should not. It should not. <laughs> now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. this. Not white. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the institute's relics left to haunt her con. Now what's it doing here? The crow is still from the generator. This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raven. That machine was created by a bunch of bad scientists, tourist. Yo, yo, keep moving. Just dodge into things, that's cool. My god. When it gets you, it gets you. And it gets me. Really just one... One set of lucky bits. Away from beating it, I think. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. This junk just lying around certainly doesn't help. We're not quiet. No. Okay, so we're not doing that. <laughs> oh. Now, if you could just 
step inside. I mean, we should be able to break it pretty quick, right? We just, we really just need... Maybe a second... Like this? Not quite. on that one, but it turned out okay. Stay down. My children at Here I go, being at zero healings again. No, my God, my just can't beat the institute. My brain, my brain, my brain, gotta go sleep. Okay, now if you could just step inside, have a good sleep. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I, I don't want to keep going at this forever, but I also kind of want to keep going at this forever. Wait, we found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt and haunt. What's it doing here? The Ooh, those obstacles. There's a few of them now. No, why? I was going to hit you. Was, what happened there? I was dodging. I was moving. I was moving. Maybe just a little too late. Maybe just a little too late. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. Yeah, see, I don't. 
I don't really want to be that close most of the time. down. Take him to the face, why don't you? Okay, well now it's in the air. Don't get me up here. Yeah. Okay. The first part is feeling much less frantic. Now, if you can just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. Sure doesn't look less frantic. <laughs> No, nope, not quite. There we go. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt the cod. Now what's it doing here? Close, closer in the generator. This is no ordinary machine. Be careful right now. That machine was created by a bunch of bad scientists, Jervis. Fires of Ibis may have taken the Institute. The dirty looks light. Oh boy. Here we go. Ow! Okay. Out of health again. Ah. Nope. I'm gonna try 
try to take off, right? Now that's going to be too far. It's taking off. Another coral response. Watch out. Now this could be some good R and D data. Can't wait to get back to the workshop. Whoa! Nope. I needed to. I need to get over. I need to get it up. I need to get over. Oh, I wonder what if anything is special about the coral weaponry. Yeah, that's fair. It probably. I imagine it counts as energy as far as like damage mitigation goes. Also, what kind of armor does Citizen Spider have? I imagine it's a uh, slam did less damage than expected. The slam is slam is weird. I mean, I keep. I'm dodging it, but, you know, the dodge does, can be weird sometimes. Also, welcome back. Stance broken here. Oh, yeah, see, can't do that. <laughs> can't do that. Ow. I was in the air. What happened there? What happened there? What happened there? What happened there? Bad things. Okay. Lesson I'm learning is that I don't want to be in melee range of it unless I'm about to break its stance. Because if I, like, if it does a lunge and then I go in and hit it and then don't get out again immediately afterwards, it's going to blow me up with a little pin lasers and the missiles are going to land on me. And that's when it goes bad. I need to be at like this range for most things. Now, like, I can... Oh! Okay, I accidentally picked. That's what happened. Now I need to get back out. This I need to come in for, so I'm gonna smack it. Let me get back out. Yeah, see the... Little lasers! go. Now I can come in. Maybe. Give it a smack. No. Now. See, after the lunge, I'm just going to do the grenades. Oop, purple cord. Okay. Is 
that keeps me at a range. Oh my god, but I can do that still. That's feeling more under control, though. I would almost expect the coral weaponry to be ignore armor to a degree, but it could easily just be energy type. That's fair. Well, I've noticed, um, among other things, the little, the little lasers, the little, the pin lasers, uh, they're there to fill your strain gauge. Almost exclusively. Oh, that was bad timing to be out of energy. I need to also pay attention to that. So that was fine, because I can break it. Yes, I want to get back out. Ugh. Too many things. Already out of things. Now I can come along. Yeah. Dodge backwards from something that's coming straight at you. So I'm going to give just a couple more shots just to see if I can get lucky, but this will probably be a next stream thing. And I'll get some more practice in on the other missions between streams. Now, if you could just step inside. This is so close I can taste it. Stop it. Risky. Ow. do the grenades there, but okay, that's fine. Let's do them here. Except I get hit by everything. Yeah. Order of operations is very important. There's just always so many lasers in the air. Or missiles in the air. Also lasers. Lasers and missiles. Now, if you could just step 
Down here. <laughs> gnarly. Gnarly, gnarly. Yeah, what happens when you take a Dark Souls boss and just give it the ability to annihilate you from the sky at all times? Pretty cool, right? For now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. Go. Expecting that to happen at right that moment. Yep, we'll get away. <laughs> Paying attention to my cooldowns. That's it just can't be this. 
cool because of that. That's fair. There's, um, I'm trying to think of the other circumstances where I've seen the same thing, but like the, with the lunge in particular, the, you want to, you know, dodge, circle strafe around it, but it's not just like, if you're circle strafing, then you're going to evade it. There's like, there's some more precision to it than that. I haven't quite figured out which way I need to correct. Oh, get back here. One of the institute's relics left to haunt Ruth Khan. Now what's it doing here? Oh, the timing too. I think I need to I think I need to go earlier. That machine's that was good. A bunch of bad scientists. Cause it can it can turn in midair too as it's going. Part of it's knowing when it's committed to its angle. Move, 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 move. Doing. Oh no, that one that was close. No, oh, come on. I'm just sitting there, yep. I think it's going earlier, is the thing. Right back here with no healing. It's very cool. Okay. And now we need to go up. Yep. Oh, come on! Still had two or three more stance breaks on it. Jeez. Okay, one more good one. One more good one. And then I'll be satisfied with my attempts here. He's made, I'm, he's made so much progress today. We went through so many missions so fast. And then it's like, nope, here's your wall. In. Okay. I meant to do something there. Oh. 
close. Er, maybe? Yeah, okay. Boy. Mm. No, no. Yeah, the little lasers. The little lasers will just stun you. And you'll sit there and get hit in the face. Wonder how well it would handle flight slash hovering. You mean like if I were hovering? I was wondering that too, like getting in a hover battle with it. Um, I mean, if you're in the air, you still want enough mobility to dodge all of the lasers, but it would probably help with the missiles a bit. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Like I could probably be in the air more, but I don't know. This is making more sense to me right now. Oh, into a crate, of course. Oop, there we go. That was good. Here. No! Where are you going? Get back here. My god. Oh, that was not the button I meant that was supposed to be grenades. Oh, yeah, okay. Knowing which la which missiles it's doing, it has a whole bunch of different missile barrages it can do. A bunch of them split into a bunch of mini missiles. If nothing else, it's Pinecone of Doom looks locked to the ground. Hmm. Definitely doesn't flip over or anything. Like even when it's flying. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. See, what the? One of the Institute's relics. That was just the little lasers getting me. Now, what's it doing here? Yeah, 
we go. Hey, look, I'm out of health again. Hooray! Best we've been beginning of air phase. No, oh, when it gets into that second phase, it starts charging the laser. Yeah, um, the big laser it shoots from the fi from the pine cone will like covers the entire floor with with electricity fire. I don't know. You want to be not on the ground when it hits because it's not hitting you. It's just hitting the ground, and if you're on the ground, it sucks. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy not even the closest we've been. We had one where we were really close. Here we go. One of the institute's relics left to haunt the con. Now what's it doing here? This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raven. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists. There's the things! There's all the things! Sometimes it's just. We should have gone the other way, maybe? Ugh. Oh, God. And there we are, we're out of help again. One more. I don't know. There's some... There's times where I can dodge the lunge with no issue, and there's other times where it's coming straight for me. Now, if you and I got nowhere to go. Wait. Enemy detected. Tourist. 
was a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. Now what's it doing here? Did that not get you? So close. Guess I just can't beat the Institute. I just can't beat the Institute. It's true. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. I think I think six hours is probably good. Um Yeah. Oh my goodness, I will most likely uh, go replay some of the old missions and probably buy some more parts and, and practice some more. Um, I you The spider has not heard the last of me, that's for dang sure. Um, but holy cow. Um, we're there, we got to the hard part. <laughs> Like, this doesn't feel like, um, like, you know, the, the, the heavy chopper in the first level is like, not the tutorial boss, essentially. It was difficult, but it was like, here's the baseline that you need to figure out. Um, Juggernaut's like the first real boss. We fought a couple other things. This is the, for me, this has been the wall so far. Um, Juggernaut was tough, but Juggernaut did not take me this long to figure out. Especially for like the first half of Juggernaut, you have a friend. It's really just the second half of Juggernaut that you really have to be super, super aware of what's going on. Like this fight, there is no moment, not a single moment where you're just like, you can you can make a, a small mistake or or not. Oh, the creature, the creature emerges. You can just barely see her. It's food time, so she's coming to beg. Um, there's not a single moment. There's, there's those two seconds at the very beginning where I can unload, and that's like the whole grace that you're given for this entire fight. Even when it's stunned, you can't be too close. That's the th I think that's the thing that I was having trouble with at the start, was if you're, you're, you go in, you know, you stun it, you go in, you smack it with, your, with a sword, or you, you know, blow it up real close, but it stands up and starts doing stuff again, before its overloaded state is done. So you have to pull back partway through its vulnerability phase so you don't get blasted in the face with the mini lasers. Because what would happen would be you I'd stun it, go in, smack it, stay in 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 melee range with it, is to like capitalize on the whole vulnerability phase, and then the little missiles would just fill up the rest of my strain gauge, stance break me, fly off, and shoot me with a laser, and I die, right? What if you place the sword with another gun? I mean, I, totally, totally true. I'm also running out of ammo on some of my stuff, so there's a couple of those attempts where the sword was like what I had left. Though, of course, if I had four guns, I don't know. Very possible. We started the ga started this mission or started the the boss fight with energy weapons. I had my laser cannon, and then I swapped that out for uh, energy missiles at some point as well. But I'm thinking the explosions are what it's was really doing work here. Um, maybe I should look 
Should I look it up? Should I? I don't know if anyone. I don't know if there's a wiki with a bunch of stats on it yet. Um, I'm curious what its uh, what its resistances are to various different things. But in the heat of the battle, it seemed like the explosive damage was doing better than the electrical damage. Um, and my gun, like my my rifle, rifle's doing great. Rifle's doing some chip damage uh, at range. It, I can stay I can stay at a very safe range uh, and, and circle strafe around it. I'm loving the rifle. I'm I'm loving that rifle. Um, I'll probably keep an eye out for that style of rifle for for the future. Um, but like I could I could swap out the sword for another grenade launcher. I could have a shoulder grenade launcher and a and a hand grenade launcher. No reason you couldn't do that. Um, There's also other... Well, we haven't unlocked it yet. We, I've been teased. Um, I don't know if you were there when we saw it. We fought a guy in the arena, and then we fought the real guy in, uh, in real life. But he has a... He has a chain sword. There are... There are physical... There's physical weapons as well. Um... I wonder if there's like a, I'm I'm assuming that would be a kinetic weapon, but I wonder if there's explosive melee weapons. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, uh, he he comes up and he he gets up in you, and he's just like you're just you're just kind of stuck there. Um, not like stuck in an animation thing, but it like you're he's gonna get you. Um, it's very very cool. Yeah, it's so good. You you look you're and you're. You can get to it pretty quick um, if you're if you're. You said you've done five missions already. It was like there was wall climber, and there's a short mission after it, and then that unlocked some stuff. I think that unlocked the arena. Um, and he's one of the first, like the one of the first three that you unlock. Um, it's pretty badass. But I don't have the I don't have the weapon to unlock to buy yet. I've just seen it, so we can't do that quite yet. Um, I'm wondering if that would be better. If a if a kinetic weapon, kinetic melee weapon, is is what this really wants, um, I'm also still using the default sword. There is at least one more plasma sword in the shop that I haven't bought. Um, the one, but I haven't bought it because um, at least the one that we had unlocked before was it didn't have a follow up attack. It just had the one attack, and then, but you can charge it. Um, I think is the difference. It probably does more damage, all told. I just really like the follow-up attack. The fact that you reposition after the follow attack is perfect. I don't, I don't want just the one attack. I want, like, especially in like a PvP context. Maybe for this boss, maybe it's better to, to swap it out. But like, if you're fighting other ACs, that follow-up attack is killer. They, you, at least against the AI, but like they. You lunge forward, they dodge back, and then you come in with the follow-up, and you get them on the follow-up. It's so, so good. Um, so I haven't been wanting to give up the follow-up attack. But maybe we should. Or maybe we should just have more grenade launchers, or maybe, maybe more missiles. You can try the sword out. Um, you can't try it without buying it, but I've also found that you can sell everything back for full price, and then also rebuy it again. So if you can afford to buy it, you can buy it and try it, and if you don't like it, you can sell it again. So there's that. Um, and that's true, apparently, for, like, everything. P apparently true for everything, so... Keep that in mind. Um, especially since you can you can respec yourself at, at checkpoints like that. If you're stuck at a boss, it's letting you swap out your weapons without restarting the level. If you just have one of everything... And you can swap out to whatever you need, right? I think that's pretty cool. Ideally, I feel like in game, ideally, we just have a completely full inventory where we've bought literally everything. It's just all sitting there. Um, I think that's kind of what they're encouraging. Uh, yeah. Holy cow! This game, this game, is a bit bonkers, and I'm loving it. I'm loving. I'm loving. I'm loving it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop for now. I'm gonna go eat some food, and then I'm gonna go. I'm probably gonna go fight that. Uh, I'm gonna go fight the smart cleaner again. That was a fun fight. But the fact that I destroyed that in on the second attempt. I don't know if that's like. 
a really hard fight that I got really lucky at? Or or what? Uh, I think I just found the strat like early on, uh, flying above it like that. I think I just I think I got lucky with figuring it out early. Um, it hit hard. It just didn't have the quite the area denial that uh, Sea Spider has. Sea Spider is just like you're in my arena. You're getting hit. Don't care. Anyway, this is Armored Core. This is going to continue being Armored Core. Come back Monday for more Armored Core. Um, I probably won't be doing more long streams like this. Jeez, this was this was a double stream. This was a extra, extra, extra large stream. Um, so don't. They're all, all going to be like this. I just wanted to get some good uh, some good progress on this game because I know a lot of other people are going to be playing crap out of it. Uh, so I don't want to be left behind too much. But uh, come by on Monday. We're going to pick up right here. I'm going to do some practice offline. And hopefully we can come back and kick Sea Spider's butt. Um, and then move on from there. Uh, get shot out a cannon to another continent. As you do. Um, and yeah, uh, we're going to keep doing this until we're done. Um, and then maybe beyond as well. Um, if, if my love for this continues through the end of the game, I'm going to want to try out some PvP. Very, very certainly. Um, and the fact that, like, 3v3s, who wants to who wants to party with me for a 3v3? Uh, but we're getting ahead of ourselves a little bit. Um, we'll get there. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Today's episode was brought to you by Grass, that thing that we won't be touching at all this week. I'm really excited to play more. You should. You should. Um, I'm going to go eat right now, but uh, you sh when when you're playing and I'm and I'm nearby next, you should like stream on Discord so I can watch you, um, because because uh, it's so good. It's just so good. Um, so yeah, um, hit the buttons. Uh, join the Discord. Hang out in there. 